we are asked to solve 5 times the absolute value of x plus 3 minus 3 is less than 7, where x is an element of the real numbers. So to solve this, we will try to isolate the absolute value of x plus 3 at one side of the inequality in order to solve for x. In doing this, we will get the absolute value of x plus 3 is less than some number. And then we can look at this on the number line to write a combined inequality that does not have an absolute value signed in it. And we use this then to solve for x. So to do this, we will add 3 to both sides of the inequality. And that will give us this. And then dividing both sides of the inequality by 5 gives the absolute value of x plus 3 is less than 2. So that means that the distance between x plus 3 and 0 on the number line is less than 2. So we will draw a number line to have a look at this. So x plus 3 could be any value between here and 0 as the distance between any value here and 0 is less than 2. Or x plus 3 could be any value between here and 0, as the distance between any value here and 0 is less than 2. So we can write this then as the combined inequality x plus 3 is any value between minus 2 and 2. And now we will solve for x. So to do this we want to isolate the x term in the middle part of the inequality. So we'll subtract 3 from each part so this is our solution set and to represent this on the number line then so x is any number between minus 5 and minus 1. So it's any real value in here. So this is how our solution set is represented on the number line. Now we should check if we are correct. So only values between minus 5 and minus 1 when substituted in for x will satisfy the original inequality that we were given up here. So looking at our solution set, we will test a value that is part of our solution set. So we will test the value minus 3. So this is part of our solution set, so it should work out to be true when substituted into our original inequality. Now our original inequality is 5 times the absolute value of x plus 3 minus 3 is less than. So substituting in minus 3 for x, The absolute value of 0 is 0. So we get that minus 3 is less than 7. And this is true as we expected because minus 3 is part of the solution set. Now we'll try a value that is not part of the solution set. So we'll try a value that is less than minus 5. So we'll try x equal to minus 6. So when you have substituted in minus 6 for x in the original inequality, you end up with 12 less than 7, and this is false. Again, this is as we expected because minus 6 is not part of our solution set. So we'll try another value that is not part of our solution set. So we'll try a value that is greater than minus 1. So we'll test 0. And when you have substituted x equals to 0 in the original inequality, we get that 12 is less than 7, which is false, as we expected, because 0 is not part of our solution set. 
So we were asked to solve 5 times the absolute value of x plus 3 minus 3 is less than 7. And our answer is x is any real value between minus 5 and minus 1.